Welcome back, Vipers. We hope everybody had a fantastic first week back on campus. These are the Viper updates for the second week of school, August 9th to August 13th. As a reminder, uh, we will do these updates weekly and they will go out each Sunday afternoon to give parents and students just a quick update on upcoming events and reminders for the coming week. We will send these out through a remind. We will always include a, the, the slideshow so you can go back and refer to the slides. And these will also be posted on our school website after they go out. Lunch updates. We did go through and update a few things on lunches last week as we were trying to make lunches a little bit more efficient for students. Um, the A lunch every single day will be based off of B wing, E wing, and D wing classes. B lunch every single day is based on A wing, C wing classes. Any student who has a class in one of the gyms or out of the field house. And as a reminder, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Lunch is based off of a student's third hour class, and Wednesday it's based off of a student's fourth hour class. So again, the lunch process is a little bit smoother and more efficient as we got to the end of the week. We're looking to open up a few more lines in these coming weeks as well to make lunch a little bit faster and easier to navigate for all students. Traffic updates. We appreciate everybody's patience as we're navigating through the first week of school. Reminder that parent pickup for students, we prefer you to pick up your student on the east parking lot area um, as our students are navigating the student parking lot in the west. We are working with uh, Buckeye PD and the city of Buckeye on a traffic study to make the traffic jam that's taking place in front of Indian School a little bit more manageable. So hopefully we'll get some uh, progress there in these next few weeks as we're working with the city of Buckeye and Buckeye PD. So we appreciate everybody uh, being patient in the parking lots and driving safely in the parking lots so that we don't have any issues. Parking updates. Students, remember if you are using the student parking lot, you do need to have a parking pass purchased by the 24th of August. If you need help or assistance or even a payment plan, we can work with you on, on that pass. But students do need to have a parking pass purchased in order to utilize the student lot. Also a reminder to not park in the surrounding neighborhoods or in the surrounding business areas. These are uh, obviously private uh, residences. These are business residences and they need to have the, the parking spaces so that they can get in and out of their homes and so that patrons can use these businesses. So please, if you are driving, please make sure you're using our parking lot. Otherwise, your vehicle will be towed by these businesses and the local neighborhood. Student information. Just a couple reminders as we're going into week two. Always make sure that your Chromebook is charged each day. Make sure you have a water bottle with you. Our, our drinking fountains aren't open for regular use, but the bottle filling stations are available to students. So please bring a bottle to fill up. Our cafeteria is hiring if you're looking for a part-time job and the link to apply is linked here in the slides. Our dress code is being enforced, so make sure that you're following dress code uh, requirements and we reviewed those with all students on Thursday. And this week we will have another round of four days of advisory this week as we're going through our final procedures and uh, activities. So four days of advisory this week, students. Parent information, just a reminder, if your student's not feeling well, please keep them home. All of our teachers, again, have assignments and materials loaded on Google Classroom. So if a student is not feeling well, they are able to stay up on their classes uh, by accessing their Google Classroom. And just as a reminder, have your students wash their hands frequently throughout the day. Uh, we have plenty of uh, sinks and soap dispensers and um, hand sanitizer uh, stations throughout the building as well. But if your student's not feeling well, keep them home. Let the front office know. We'll get them uh, caught up as they're preparing, as they're getting healthy and preparing to return to the building. Fall sports begin this week. As a reminder, make sure that all of your register my athlete items are completed prior to tryouts. That allows us to know that your athlete is cleared for competition and athletics and we are able to let them try out. But if they don't have that part completed, they are not able to try out. If you have questions, please reach out to your sports coach and they can help you out with any of those uh, sports specific questions regarding tryouts or register my athlete. 
And this is the final thing, a uh, couple upcoming events. Um, if your student had an incomplete at the end of the 2021 school year, the deadline to submit materials is this Wednesday, August 11th. Uh, incompletes will turn into Fs after this time. So if you have questions on what is missing, if your student has an incomplete, uh, emails were sent to students uh, throughout the summer, but as recently as last Thursday regarding their incomplete status, they can reach out to me if they have any questions or to their teacher. Uh, our first spirit week is coming up, uh, not next week, but the following week, August 16th to 20th, we'll have a, uh, Stugo sponsored spirit week and we'll put more information out in next week's Viper updates, parent Academy, which is a, a parent information night. Uh, the first one will be held on Wednesday, August 25th. So more details coming on that. And the first site council meeting of the year is going to take place on the final Monday of each month. So our first site council meeting will be on August 30th at 530. So that's it for this week. Hope everybody had a restful uh, weekend and we're excited to get the second week of the school year going. So that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay connected. Vipers, if you need anything, please let us know. One Verado.